Hey guys, this is Hung Bango. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite back my friend, Zaley Miller. She is the clothing stylist and she came here before when she had red hair, short hair. So I saw her recently and she had, you know, now short blonde hair and I said, we should do another video. And uh, I hope you enjoy the look. We get more retro, smoky eyes. And this is more makeup than Zaley would normally wear, but I thought, you know, it's fun. We just play up and different than the last video we did. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram as well and on my team here. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. Apologize on the redness around the eyebrow area because I gave Zaylee a little tweezing. I want to give her that little 90 eyebrow. So we tweeze here a little bit. So it's still a little red. The first product I'm going to use is the Naterium Fetal Glow Lip Balm. This one, they have many different flavors and shades. They have tinted as well, but the one I'm using is just the clear one. This is a great lip balm for nourishing and conditioning the lips. It does contain shea butter and squalene. It does keep that shine finish. So if you do wear matte lipstick, I would recommend to matte them down a little bit first. It's vegan and cruelty free. The second product I'm going to use is Naterium as well. It's multi-peptide eye cream. This is a beautiful eye cream under makeup is very lightweight it's hydrates and protect the delicate eye area really well and you can use this on all skin type i love any product that have nesanamide peptide ingredient it works really well for me and i think it's for most people The next product also from Naterium is Quadruple Hyaluronic Acid Serum 5%. This combination of low, medium, and high molecular weight of hyaluronic acid to hydrate and plump the skin really well. This is also a great formulation for under makeup. You know, sometimes you overlay too much skincare product. If not the right product, it could be, you know, peeling and stuff like that when you apply foundation. But these serum and moisturizer I'm using, they are all great under makeup. None of these are sponsored as well. And this brand, I think they, the product is quite affordable. I know I shouldn't say the word affordable because it's different for everyone, but I think for the quality of the product, the price point is really good. And they're all vegan and gluten-free. The last product is the Plant Ceramide Rich Moisture Cream. This is a great rich cream. If you like rich cream, it is Fantastic under makeup as well. They're all plant-based. It's really good to hydrate. Great for people in the cold weather that need a lot of hydration. People live in Canada, where I was from. Or if you use at night that you wanna lock in all your moisture, this is also a great cream for you. I generally put a lot of cream on first before I do all my massage, the puffing, you know, or when you do all the, the puffing tune, you need a little bit of the slide. So this is a great cream for that. I say in every video always give some love to the skin little massage the puffin is really helpful
Don't forget the sunscreen. And the one I'm using today is from the wear company. It called Sunny Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. And this is reef safe mineral based sunscreen, very hydrating. It does have hyaluronic acid for skincare benefit and it's toned even in out formula. You can see that you can wear this alone. It does help to even your skin tone a little bit. Also, this is great for people who have olive or deeper skin because it doesn't give you that white cast. You see that it does have a little bit of the color, so it's really great for deeper skin tone. I just want to make it more clear from what I said earlier. This is for all skin tone, but if you don't like the white cast, can you sometimes people have olive skin or deeper skin? We always find that that little white cast on the sunscreen, this doesn't have that, so it would be great for you as well. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use Kevin Ukon, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. This one you can use at the concealer as well, but I'm going to use a separate concealer, also from Kevin Ukon. It's the Etherealist Supernatural Concealer. The Central Skin Enhancer is one of my favorite foundation. This one, I think a lot of people sleep on it because it's been around for so long and we don't talk much about it. I think for makeup artists, they should have in their kit because it's so small like this and it comes in about, you know, I think 16 shades. It's not a lot, but they vary, you know, adapting shades. You can mix and match and easy and it's fantastic. You can see that that's how much I put on and that's really all you need. We took out quite a bit, but we shouldn't even use that much. You see that it's so beautiful. It's a cool favorite. It's multi-year complexion product. When I say that, you can use concealer, corrector, foundation, contour, highlight. You can use a deeper shade for contour, lighter shade for highlight, and you can use for many different purposes. This is more a fuller coverage foundation. Zaylee doesn't really need a full coverage. She, her skin, we did the video before when she had red hair and we did the very natural makeup. And today I told her, I said, we only did the natural makeup on her. I want to do more of fuller coverage. And she said, yes, go for it. So that's why I want to do like makeup for someone who would like more of fuller coverage foundation. And this one, of course, you can be sheer out, you know, you can see that I just put just a little bit and you can sheer it out or anywhere you want more coverage. You can dip in like this and you get really great coverage. It does give you natural finish. But when I say natural finish, it mean if you don't use a lot of skincare prep. But if you do a lot of skincare prep, it become, you know, more to finish. So it's really just the prep being going to change the formulation of the foundation as well. You can use this to cover tattoo and you can use this when you, I mean, I'm not sound like a sponsor, but you know, I love Kevin Ukon and he's the one that invented this and I think it's genius. Uh, you can mix this into the moisturizer. If you want to make the foundation uh, a little thicker, you can use for anything. It's great for cover under dark circle, blemishes. Uh, did I say tattooed? Yes, we did. It's fragrance free, waterproof, and sweat resistant. Because I do a lot of skincare prep, so the skin a little more dewy, but I will set, I will mat everything down. For the concealer, this is a weightless formula. It does give you that medium coverage and it's more like a demi satin finish it does contains the light diffusing particles that is give you that more blurring effect so it's quite beautiful um, if you're not a makeup person you want to wear just concealer 
this would be a great one for you. It doesn't have a lot of shades. I mean, it's pretty good range, but it's not like the way now, because this formula is more invented quite long ago. Usually they don't have many shades like all the brand right now. They have like 30 shades concealer or something like that, you know, um, but they are great concealer. And today I just use the same shades for all over. I'm going to use Huda Beauty Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. The shade I'm using is light. This is a rich pigmented cream. This is, you can use bronzer, contour, I mean, any way you want. It's buildable cream to powder finish. The shade I'm using light, but they are a bit more deep. Um, you can use fair if you don't want too much contour or too much sculpted, but I use the shade a little deeper just to scope a little more but they're very blendable so even if you use a dark shade you still can blend them really well and just a little bit on the perimeter of the face just keep more dimension So you see when the shades I first put in, it look pretty dark, but you just blend them and it gives you that natural sculpted sun kiss instead like a heavy harsh line. For powder, I'm going to use Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Ultra Blur. The shade I'm using is Translucent. This is the top free version. It's a newer uh, formulation they have. It is matte finish. It gives you that beautiful blurry effect. I think this is one of the coat favorite. And it's fragrance free. Close that for me. And you can put as much as you want to without looking too cakey. For this look, I'm gonna keep the skin quite matte. So I put quite a bit of powder. Going to use Guerlain Terracotta Sun Kiss Natural Bronzer. The shade I'm going to use is number three. It's medium warm. And you see that I dab a little bit at the time to set where I put the tan tour earlier. I like to use a bronzer powder on top of a cream bronzer. I think it just brings back, you know, when you powder it take away some of the depth that you did from the cream bronzer so the powder bronzer can help you you know bring it back and this one is medium coverage radiant finish and quid free silicon and paraben free as well we try to remember as much give you as all the information but if we um, we forgot to mention the product or anything you can always go down to the video description box we listed everything with the link and everything to where to buy and everything so you can find everything there for eyebrow on Zaley I'm going to your refine brow pencil in light and the brow scoop gel with lamination effect as well. And I also use a KS & Co. Micro Feathering Brow Pen. The shade I'm using light brow in case I want to fill in in any area. To start, I'm going to give more a thinner brow effect. And I didn't want to overly treat Zaylee the eyebrow too much, so I'm not going to draw them too thick. So you see right here, I'm just going to fill it in a little bit. You can even do that with a marker. Let me do it like this, and you see the way I always do. I always do it backward like this, so it keeps no demarcation. And it's a lot softer on the eyebrow. And then. The back here, the same thing, just move back and forth like this. Fill it in a little bit. 
And you know, you see the way I do everything very gentle hand because when you draw things with gentle hand, everything look a lot more softer. When you really press the pencil so hard on the skin, that's when you see the heavy mark and then it's harder for you to blend anything. And I'm trying to lift it up a little bit here. then arch down a little bit. So I did the same thing on the side. And next, I'm going to use the brown gel. And they have the other side for lamination, but I'm not gonna do that flat. So I'm just gonna brush it up first. Same on the side. And I like to use the brow pen for this look after the marker. So you know the brow pen, you can go there perfecting little detail. You know, you can go a little more and you wanna fill in anywhere a little more. Just simple like that. This brow pen is great for that reason. Um, so the eyebrow doesn't look too heavy. And you just vary just a little bit like that. You don't have to use the brow pen, but if you want to finesse the eyebrow a little more, these are great for you. I'm going to use Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Eyeshadow Primer to prep the eye area. And always great to use some eyeshadow primer. Some people prefer to use concealer. I find that concealer, they always a little thick and you have to set the concealer before eyeshadow. So it's better you use an eyeshadow primer instead. For the eyes area, I'm going to use these four products. The first product is the Lancome up to 24 hour drama liquid pencil long wear eyeliner. This is the black shade, fantastic long wear black pencil if you like. And it's a matte finish, it's just beautiful. It's great, you should try this. And I'm going to use two mascara from them as well. And you know, you can use this one is Monjour Big Volumizing Mascara to get you a lot of volume. But I'm gonna show you how to cocktail with their Definite Seal Defining Lengthening Mascara as well. This is the Code Classic, been around for a long time. People want that single separate lashes. But I, I use this one mostly on the bottom. And then just to, mostly on the end here to give Zayli the extra mm on the lashes as well because we're not going to do any fall lashes today but I just want her eye a lot of drama and for the eyeshadow palette I love this new one from M Cosmetic the Divine Guy eyeshadow palette and the shade is going to be Saturn's Return I mean if you can't catch what I say you can always on the description box the shade I'm going to use is mainly these three shades I'm going to use more a matte shade on the look today. To start, I'm going to use this shade here. This more, I think on really pale skin, this is a beautiful shadow on you, or you can use this a transition eyeshadow. Close the eye for me. I'm gonna use mostly on the crease area here. And like I say, very gentle, a little bit at a time. You don't want to put too much. A little bit right here as well. Next, I'm use the smaller brush here and I use this shade along the lower lash line. I'm not gonna use any pencil on the lower lash line, but I still want the eye to have a lot of depth. 
and this would be my pencil. I use the shadow and I smudge it out a little bit and just soften. Next, I go back to the other brush. You can share the same brush, it's fine. And you flip this way and you use the other shade. And just do mainly on the crease area here. Or you can use a different brush if you like. And back and forth. Back and forth. And you see that I just extend it out a little more. Same on this side. So you see that I just do a little bit on the crease. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, actually I can use this, uh, I could have used this one earlier for the blending here. So you can use that to blend a little bit out. Soften edge it out. And uh, you can use a lighter color here with a shimmer, or you can leave the brown bone light like the way it is. But I'm going to use a little bit of this color here, and I just do mainly on the lash line here. You see, I just uh, stamped them. A little bit and then just on the edge here and then you can use your other brush here and you soften edge it out something like that I'm gonna do the same on both sides you can use a little Q-tip to clean up the edges, you know, just more the shape that you would like. Next, I'm going to use a small ink brush and the black liner. And this one here, I'm going to go on the lash line. All the way in here, yeah. Upper, under lash line. This way again, and to do along the upper lash line a little bit as well. And then you soften the edge it out. You blend it outward and upward. And as I said, this is a long wear gel pencil and they set really fast. So you should do one eye at a time, but when they set, it doesn't budge at all. Let's see. I'm gonna follow down the part here a little bit to make it a little cat-like. And you can use like, you know, if somebody great with like liquid liner, you can use liquid liner at all. I like the pencil because it gives me that matte finish and it's give me that like sultry, I find that it's more sultry when you pencil smudge it out than a liquid liner. But that's just my personal preference, whatever works for you. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Go back to the first brush you use and you just go a little bit whoosh whoosh, just blend the edge it out. 
it's always good to bring go back to blend everything out a little bit because that's going to help the blending more seamless together like you heard it before when you think you blend it up blend it again and i think the makeup will look gorgeous i'm going to curl the lashes off camera for the two mascara, the Monjour Big Volumized Mascara, I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes. This is very pigmented, rich pigmented. It's coming washable and waterproof version. So you can use two coats. You could use one first. I'm going to use the other side. Let it dry for a second first. This is for someone who want really a lot of volume. I got a little bit there. I'm going to clean it up. Look down for me. And do another layer. Next, we're gonna use Definite Seal Defining and Lengthening Mascara. This is a cold favorite, like been around for years, years. When I first started doing makeup, it was already there. This is Lengthening and Defining Lashes. This is for someone who want really single, separating lashes. This is a great one for you. And so I'm using this one for the lower lash line, for lower lashes and I'm gonna use that to feather out the upper lashes, more lengthening. Like you're cocktailing a little bit. And this one also come in the regular formula and the waterproof version as well. And it come available in black, brown, many different color. And this one here, you can use on the edges to lengthen the lashes, make the lashes a lot longer. See that this is the best way to cocktail mascara if you want to use for blush i'm going to use duo beauty rouge blush the shame ue 211 precious roses satin so all the name is down this is a beautiful shade and is a limited edition so i hope by the time the video come out they still sell them but i just love this shade and you see that i use always very little bit at the time like this it's quite pigmented, so I just use little dot dot. And it's very silky texture, fantastic color. Someone who won very subtle blushes, it's beautiful color. See that, it's gorgeous. A little bit on the top here too. On the other side. There's nothing more disturbing when I see people do like this with the blush. I think it's like so disturbing. So you just you very gentle. I asked Zaylee if she liked the video last time we did. And she said, <laughs> she said on the day, what do you say? <laughs> yeah, when I need to feel pretty. I'll look at the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, people do read at comments. So I think it's really good to leave some beautiful comment because the talent, you know, I think it's like any mean comment, there's no point, you know. It's easier to give a nice comment to someone. So, you know, it's great. You should start practice doing that more. <laughs> <laughs> she say on the field, the day she feel down, she look at the comment, make her feel good. <laughs> so I think it's, uh, we need to be kind to each other when you watch this video. Mm -hmm. For highlighter, I'm going to use the IEM Beauty Interstellar Highlighter Topper. The shade I'm using is Miss Mercury. This is a multi-dimension shine. You can use as a highlighter, as an eyeshadow. You can apply any way you want. I just love the, you know, the softer the highlight, but you can get quite pigmented 
if you want as well. It is more a dewy finish. And this is vegan and cruelty free. You can put a little bit everywhere, you know, to get the sheen and it doesn't look too like too much um, glittering, which I love. For lips, I'm going to use two products from MAC Cosmetics. The lip pencil in the shade called Subcultural. It's, I think, one of the Coke favorites as well. The lip color is a new formulation they have. It's a Lock Kiss 24 hour lipstick, the shade called Teaser. This, I think this is just a beautiful combination together. Two star. So they really have quite beautiful lip shapes, so I'm not gonna cheat, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna, you know, just define exactly where her shape is. So you see a little bit right here. And it just followed her natural lip shape. And then I'm going to feel on the upper lips as well. I think from now on, I'm going to start like sculpting these product inside the tube here and show us on camera because we have so many questions. People think that I don't use the product I'm saying, but it's not true because, you know, we used to don't use directly on the lips. That's why we use off camera. This is transfer resistant formula. It's long wear and it's matte finish and it's also smudge resistant as well. So it's a great formulation for someone who like long wear lipstick. It's beautiful peachy nude color that if you like that type of tone, this is a great one for you. Absolutely gorgeous lip shades. To set the makeup, I'm going to have some setting spray from Lancome. It's called Fix It and Forget It. This is great setting spray for you. Always shake it first. Test this. That's the final look, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I hope you enjoy the look for this time. She normally doesn't wear much makeup, but she let me play with the makeup today. And you can feel yourself, look at yourself again more later on. <laughs> um, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. It's a more retro makeup look. We're just playing with them. Like I say, she has amazing skin. If someone has skin like that, you don't need to put a lot of makeup like I do, but I'm doing this for, you know, for someone who loves to wear makeup, love to play makeup and uh, hope you enjoy the video give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel give a lot of beautiful comment <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to follow all of us on instagram as well thank you